So now we reach an endless loop of literally infinite money in Sea of Thieves. You set sail wondering, what is the most efficient thing I can do in the only three hours I got this evening? Just like a rare fish. It's hard to pinpoint where to go and who to ask so you can get the best catch. So in Sea of Thieves, by the time you want to hop discords or ask around in the subreddit, some of that time goes to waste. So I have compiled your answers to clarify all the best things you can do to level up each of the three original factions in a fun and engaging way that also teaches you about different aspects of the seas and helps you make better decisions. Based on viewers' demand, everything here was performed live on stream so we could coach and share exactly what happened in each faction. So how long it took and how much money was made and how to accomplish the endless loop of creating gold using your emissary flag. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax and enjoy. Some of the information here will also reference older videos, but you will be able to see the Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls and Merchant Alliance, all in the form of chapters so you can navigate to what you want. Set sail and hopefully subscribe so you can help me reach 200,000 subscribers before the end of this year. We are gonna do every single emissary, get it to 5 and do the emissary quest of that. What is required of you to start this is level 15 in each faction and a captain ship. If you did not achieve that, check the description below for videos on how to get there fast. This ship is gonna be called that one. Ready to set sail. Thanks man, have a good time. The amount of gold made here was around 170,000 in less than 3 hours, and some of it was solo. Of course, during the stream, which was 6 hours long, we encountered other ships and chatted with viewers, so it's more organic than strictly grinding 3 factions. So each of these factions should not take you more than an hour if done correctly. Twitch Fuzzy will demonstrate everything happening so you can learn the 3 steps of infinite gold using your emissary flags in fine detail. Gold order first. This is the new ship, it's called that one, it's not this one. We don't want riddles. On the level 25. We are going to go to Shores of Plenty, as usual. So let's go all the way north up here. Alright, we're gonna test something out. Whoever does not know what we're doing on this stream, we are doing one full emissary flag of each faction. And, and uh, showing showcasing the best route for each all right however i want to manipulate the map a bit i want to manipulate the way things spawn a bit by going to the edge of the map but this time not all the way west all the way north even though i feel like a1 is better but we'll see now because a1 you even get quarter not even half quarter First, we are starting gold orders, so we're gonna look at the map, all right? These are level 25 things. However, doing gold order vaults for gold order is not the best way to level up gold order. It's good for commendations. The reason for that is because every time you finish a quest, even dig out a chest, you level up gold order. But every time you finish a fort, you do not. Yeah, sorry, a vault, you know? Because the point of that is reaching level 5 emissary and then looping that emissary quest you know this is the prized one okay we're gonna start with the prized one we're gonna start from the top here okay we're gonna start from the bottom commission Okay, <laughs> the commission one. Cold order commission. This is level 25, cold order. See? Now, sailor's bounty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's X and nine X's on one island. Now we're gonna go there. Because best for profit does not only mean most profit. It means best in terms of time and money, you know? Like making half a million in five hours is not better than making 200,000 in one hour, you know, or 150,000 in one hour. All right, this one is... I'm going to also show you how to find gold pretty easy, right? So that my X's are white. Don't cancel me. I'm talking about the X's in the game. This one. Okay. 
The reason for that is because I use, I use, um, you see this one, for example, this red plant, right? Uh, the, the red plant is the best reference to find loot in the game. It's the best reference, in my opinion. Okay. If the axe is red, sometimes if it's overlapping a red plant, you can't see it properly. A graphic settings all the way down. High contrast X marks the spot. Look. This is harder to differentiate between that and the red plant. Can you tell? There are, you can see the red plants, you can see, but if they're overlapping, you want to be able to tell. So you go to graphics, all the way down, and you turn that on. Now, much easier. So first, we go here. This is exactly west of the island right after the dent up here so it could be here i playing i've never seen this see they don't mention this stuff like no one knows how to video yeah i i put that in my videos but of, of course i don't expect people to go watch all my videos look how much reputation we got from one chest right now all right oh the zoom yes yes the zoom you press f you can press f on the zoom on the map f is what you interact with a ladder so i don't know what it is in controller but uh it's kind of like the same, you know? The, the, the thing that you carry a chest, the same thing, like the, the interaction button. Now, let's see here. There's another one right, right south of the middle rock on the second island. Exactly right south of the middle rock. Here's the rock. You see what I'm looking at? We're standing on the rock that's east of the red plant. This is the rock. Exactly south of it is that, with a, with a hint of left. So it should be somewhere around here. There it is. Oh, hi. This guy will give us a bit more, too. Since you're visiting islands. Like my video, um, Skeleton Orders one. Secrets of the Skeleton Orders. So, here's another thing. Let's see now. Um, it's a riddle, because it's a big map. Yes. So now, we finished what we have here on, on this island. However, luckily, we got map piece for the vault. So. Look at that! X marks a spot on Smuggler's Bay right here. <laughs> Looks like there's trees here. And this is exactly northwest of it. First try. First try. Easy. I missed the chest by one meter a hundred times. Look at that. <laughs> Mermaid's hideaway. Nice. Guys, we're gonna open the vault with zero medallions. Alright. That's another thing to gold order. I showed that on my clips channel. If you guys don't know, check my clips channel. So we're gonna do skull lock up. Uh, lock down, lock down lock. Who's the last one? Sometimes it works the first, second, third, fourth, you know. But it looks much cooler when it works from the first time. So are you getting the game? I'm gonna take that. That seems like interesting. That gives more. Things that are not from the vault. Look at that! See? See the difference? Things are from the vault and things are not from the vault. There we are. This took us one hour and twenty minutes to finish. We finished one island one riddle and a vault. We got the vault at the first island and the riddle was on the way. And we are Gold Hoarder 5, which means the multiplier is gonna be higher. That's the most important part. The main reason why we do all this is to take the emissary quest from the Gold Hoarder. 38,000, 553 arrive, 38,000, 553, okay. Now, we're gonna take the Emissary quest. Four emissary quests. Five chests. Five chests. Five chests. And five chests. And most probably they're all captain chests, right? The most important thing when reaching level five the first time, I call the first time the 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 jump start. The f I just call it, it could make sense. The jump start of the emissary flag. You need to reach the emissary flag to five once so you can start having an infinite loop of level 5 gold. Okay, you, you raise the flag, you reach 5. 
you claim the emissary, you drop the flag, then you raise it again, and then you do the emissary, it will get you to five again, then you will get the emissary again. All right, so now we just raised the fresh emissary five, emissary gold hoarder flag, that's level one, but we have four emissary quests. We're gonna mark these and dig them out, and then we'll see how much it will get us. Okay, there it is, guys. One emissary quest, we reached five again. Now we're gonna see how much money we make. Here's the stuff. This is the emissary. Right now, we did the emissary that we got later. And look what happened. We are level five gold hoarder again. So now, the first time we jump started gold hoarder, second time we got gold hoarder from the emissary itself. You know? So now we reach an endless loop of literally infinite money in Sea of Thieves. I'm gonna wait until this is done. So from the jump start we made 38k. From the second round we made 50k around, right? So do not drop the flag yet. Because we hit level 5 again. So satisfying to watch. Jack of Hats, thank you so much. We hit level 5 again. We go here. Claim emissary quest. You take that. Now we have another 20 chests to pick up. And now we are going to... Remember, the biggest mistake people do is sometimes they drop the flag before taking the emissary quest. This way all your effort went to waste. You claim the emissary quest. Emissary quest already claimed. You make sure you have it. Then you drop the flag. And you raise it again. However, now, now, uh, no, no, we're not going to raise this one because we already okay. did that. We already did that. So I'm just showing you that now you raise it again. You finish these ones. You finish these. And you reach five. You sell. You claim the emissary. You drop it. You raise it again. You reach five when you finish these. You sell. You drop it. You raise it again. And now you have around 50k every half an hour. Now, Order of Souls, do not take any quests. Order of Souls is the worst thing to do quests for. When I go fleets, I made a video called Don't Do Order of Souls Voyages. Order of Souls, there's no Order of Souls Voyage that gets you to five. I keep dropping the flag saying something, can I give you leave it up? Yeah, because every time you hit five, you get one emissary quest. So, Order of Souls, guys. Two treasuries. That's it. And then you do a skelly ship or something in the way. You see our order of souls is still zero. Man, we're OP with those uh, Yeah, it's way too ridiculous. So here what it is, you go to this one, then you go to this one, you take this route, this path, you are almost in a hidden path, these two are safer than obviously this one right here in the middle of the map. So you raise out an order of souls, you do this one, then you do this one, and you'll be five. If you don't reach five, all you need to do is sink a skelly ship or something, and you'll be done. One is a skull, and two a skull, and three a skull, and go. Perfect. What do you have for us? Oh, anchor ball, I take it. Thank you. Can you put another one, please? All right, stop, stop, you're done, you're done, you're done. You're done. There we are. Okay. Right now we are Order of Souls 5. 
You can see it right there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Here, we all results five. Um, and you claim the emissary. Let's claim it here. Then you drop the flag. After you claim it, because if you, you know, remember an emissary quest is the, your reward of level five. Now, look what we have. These are our gold order ones already. This is the gold order we got earlier. Order of Souls. This will give you the four villainous skulls. Four villainous skulls. Four villainous skulls. And four villainous skulls. However, we are gonna move to Merchant because I already made a video. Um, wait. It should be up here. On the right, on the, this corner. Of, uh, of the Order of Souls video. Alright. Now, we are going to raise Merchant. This one, let's try this one. Um... There it is! This is the route that you need, guys. Alright, so let's do this, guys. So basically, video. It seems like when we got the level 25, I think it's not related to the level because these are the same. When we got the level 25, we shuffled through 30 voyages. A Merchant Alliance Commission Bundle. Not the prized one. We shuffled 30 of this. We got nothing. I like the video. That showed that you should vote for it here. Maybe it still works and I was unlucky 30 times. You know, we voted for it in Sanctuary. The first one gave us the one we need. So, you don't need to vote for it at Spoils of Plenty anymore. You can vote for it in Sanctuary. And the fact that you are right next to this, it's probably easier to do that. Now, we can take the supplies jacket that you got to improve our level. Do the 25. It will work. This route is always like this. The first birds are always here. And the shipwreck is always around this area. Always. The key is somewhere in between. Look at that. Almost Merchant 5. Oh, there he is. That's what happens when you solo a galleon, guys. That's what Falcor said. Just take it and, like, let it go up there. Ho oh, ho ho! Do the math, guys, yeah? How much you made from the merchant? More than 100k. Just like before, guys. What the, the quest we did was the prized commission bundle for the merchants. Uh, now you take the Amazon quest. Wait, that's a chicken coop. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Smells good. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, please. Please stop, stop, please. Yes, Amazon quest. After you get all that garbage out of the way, you claim the Amazon quest. And then you lower this and you raise it again and you do the same thing again. That's it. Subscribe to YouTube. I'll be done. See you tomorrow.